Good midnight, this is J-Level 7 and this is Pokemon Heart Gold for the Nintendo DS Nuzlocke Challenge. So last time we defeated Bugsy the gym leader and got the second badge. And so in this episode we are going to explore Elex Forest. And let's see if we can try and find a catch Pokemon there. Oh, looks like it's here. <clears throat> so the first Pokemon will be, um, looks like we already have that. So we are leaving, in particular. Alright, so let's hope we can find a Pokemon that we haven't seen. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The Farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch him for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? I think I can. Oh shoot. Um, It seems to face the direction of the noise when you step on a branch. Okay. I think you have to um, sneak behind it in order to... In order to call it successful. Oh, that's a Pokemon we haven't seen. Hey there, Oddish. What's up? And looks like you don't... Is there any attack that can, um, well... I don't know, I'm, I'm just afraid of KOing this Oddish, but we can send it to sleep, can't we? Let's see if the sleeping part works. So in case Tolly is knocked out and it's dead, then we can replace another grass type. Okay, send it to sleep. Oh my god, don't please don't miss. We're not gonna eat up eat up minutes. Okay, hypnosis number two and you missed again. Why? It's like you got sand attacked two times. Please. 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 Oh my goodness! Hacks, man! Hacks! Oh my god. God, please. Please, please. There we go. Yeah, I think hypnosis is the worst sleeping move. But, um, you got no choice but to keep a sleep inducing attack. Yeah, let's see if just a uh, simple sleep condition would render it, render it okay. It's four times the catch rate by simply putting it to sleep, and it should be able to work. Yes. So, what should I name Oddish? Um, I don't know what to name Oddish though. It's a, called the Weed Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, it's gonna evolve to a Vileplume or a Blossom. So, well. And they both have pedal dance too. So I could call it dancer. There we go. There we go. It it might learn pedal dance with um with a vile plume or blossom, so that's kinda reasonable. Alright, so now we got a Pokemon in the route and I really need repels. Yep, I really need repels. Who has even higher speed? Um. Oh well, Zubat needs a chance. Okay, let's just sneak up behind him. And it works! You snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Yes! Wow, you found it. Thank you, but there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way, remember? Oh, it's okay, so the second one's gonna be even harder. Okay, we found a revive which we are not supposed to use on the Nuzlocke challenge, so that item is useless. Okay, so where is it? Okay, there's a Farfetch here. Hmm. Um, maybe you should talk to it, I guess. Okay, yep. You need to catch it from behind. Hmm. What the fuck can I do? Oh. Oh, I have a plan. I have a plan. And Paris. Oh, we could have caught Zombie. We could have. But we can't, because we got Oddish. Which is just as good, I guess. Okay, so... Oh no, not here. Right here. Yes. 
And avoid stepping on these again. And boom! There we go. Second one. So, yeah, so this puzzle isn't that hard, but in a gold, silver, crystal, you only need to catch one, but not two. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. You saved me. Oh, and there goes the boss. Oh, shoot. My far and fetch. You found him for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? Oh, take this. And there it is. Hidden machine cut. Okay, teach that to a Pokemon. Okay, could you cut it for me, though? You can't? You don't want to give me one chance? Oh my goodness, you have to make my Pokemon waste the move slot, isn't it? This is not what I'd like to see. Okay? <laughs> this is actually very bad. Why do I have to um, sack one move slot for it? Okay, fine. Who shall I teach Cut to? Um, put in a za sand rush because it's not gonna be used often. Sorry! Alright, so get rid of Scratch. Because cut is 10 base power, has 10 more base power. Alright, so we, you're gonna cut that tree down and then we'll be able to progress. Alright, what's that in front of us? Is, is that a shrine? Hey Celebi, come out there. I wanna catch you. Where are you, Celebi? Where are you? Oh, looks like you're not here. Find it. Forget about you then. Oh. <laughs> And we got, we encountered another Oddish. Run away. Yeah, so, I really wanted Celebi to come out from the shrine. I know it's from there. If we can somehow um, avoid all those um, wild encounters, but I don't even have a repel. Actually, I do. I can only use it... How many times can I use Repel? Only one. Oh well, one's better than nothing. Use it anyways because I need to cut my time short. But you have to make every step count because if you wasted your steps, then it's gonna be, um, you gonna exhaust one of the Repel. So you gotta walk slowly and cut corners. And we, oh, Headbutt. Okay, let me talk to you there. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, try it out. Okay, so this part here, they they can teach you unlimited times. Let's see what happens if I give it to Tolly. Oh, it it can learn headbutt. Okay, let's get rid of let's get rid of a uh, tackle. Now headbutt is twice as much power as a tackle. And it's very helpful when Big Leaf goes first, but even then, its speed still sucks. Okay, so we're gonna use um, one more on, um, let's see, Joel. There we go. It's gonna learn Headbutt, and wow, it's a debatable one. It has very good accuracy as opposed to that one, although this one has a little bit more power. Oh well, I'll just get rid of Hyperfang because. A miss, a miss could cost you a game. That 90 hit rate looks like it's promising, but it's uh, not that good. Yeah, so sorry, got rid of Hyper Fang. I might lose some power, but oh shoot, my repel wore off. Oh my, we got, we got further interruptions from wild Pokemon. Okay, but seriously. Seriously. Okay. Now we can get out of this forest. Without interrupting, but I doubt it. And we have another kimono girl here. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark. Elex Forest. What, you remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyways, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Yes. You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of there? I'm about to walk left. Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. See you. Thank you, Zubat. Now get back here. 
Um, Anthony phone call. Nope. Cancel. Okay, so we're gonna get this Pokeball here. It's a Neither. Good for attacks that only has 10 or less power points. Not that we need it now because Pokemon Center is everywhere. Eh, are you gonna give me a TM? What is that? A TM12 Sweet Scent? I think it's taunting this generation. I mean, fourth generation. It used to be Sweet Scent. Oh, so you, some TMs have lost its designation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is where I do my training. Very good. Let me see what you have then. And I'm going to evaluate your team. You got four Pokemon with you. At level seven, are you... Why are you under-leveled? This is not up to this region's standard. What is this? Wow, I am feeling extremely sad. It's me thinking that every trainer is weak, but then the gym leader is exceptionally strong and it's going to uh, fuck me over. Okay, Sanshu. Yeah, but uh, level 10, okay. You're slowly catching up, but it's still weak. Should be like around uh, level 15 in order to be sufficiently tough. Yeah, no wonder why rival, rival blue. No wonder why uh, rival blue will. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I mean, I kind of agree what rival blue said. He said, "Oh, Johto gym leaders are weak. Eh, don't sweat it. Let me see how strong you got." All right, so Pokemon number three, Spearow, level eight. Awfully weak. Come on, how am I supposed to do my grinding if the trainers are gonna keep offering weak Pokemon like this? How am I supposed to do some grinding? It's like, it's like the majorities of the trainer I can one shot, but in the gym leaders I can hardly two hit KO. This is so unbalanced. Oh well, nothing to complain about here. And, and oh, is it, oh, we can catch a Pokemon there, huh? Okay, let's do that. What's it gonna be? A drowsy. Okay, so we got our first psychic type. Not bad. We might need a psychic type in the future. I don't know, what's psychic good against? Well, the ghastly evolutionary line, they're part poison. But drowsy is slow, might take a big hit from Shadow Ball. So, um, yeah. Besides that, I don't see anything that's good. Okay, so Pokeball, go. Can you catch it? One, two, three. Drowsy is caught. Alright, so when it evolves into Hypno, it has that one thing that makes your eyes that makes your eyes feel uh, distorted. So, what am I gonna try and uh... I don't know what to nickname. Uh, oh well, Drowser. There we go. Pretty unoriginal. <laughs> there. Very, very bad nicknames. Oh well, what, what can I say? Alright, so we're about to go to the oh, next town. And we got our uh, counterpart character. Good work. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as it can be. You look fit too. Hey. <clears throat> Let me introduce you. This is Lyra. She's a trainer. She seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, of course. Follow me. Alright, so this is the Pokemon Daycare. It has every single access to breeding and training and whatever you like to do. Yep, so Pokemon Eggs. Too bad I can't do it in this game. <laughs> what are you talking about? She just happens to live nearby. I know, I know. Since you took her here, you must be sure about her talent. Come see us anytime. 
So yeah, if you can catch a ditto on this same route, you can just instantly put it in the daycare and it's going to be a breeding machine. And you can try to use it competitively since it has imposture. I mean, oh no. Oh no, it doesn't have Dream World abilities in this game, huh? Oh shoot, that would have been... That would have been a lot useful. A ditto with imposture in this game? It can totally screw up Dragon Dancers or Agility users and then you just have to slap a Choice Scarf there and you're guaranteed to outspeed in this game, but sadly Dream World imposture isn't in this game. Would have been awesome if it would have been awesome if it has it, but oh well. At least you could still use it as a breeding machine. What? Wow, the cop can spot me that far. Are you fucking serious? What's with you? What are you doing? Oh, this is nighttime, huh? Midnight and the cops out there patrolling. It's reasonable. And you have a ground leaf. Ground leaf level 17. Ooh, wow, you're catching up on levels here, and you cut down my attack. Sweet. Uh, what shall I send out then? Okay, I have a second stronger attacker. What do you have? A Leer. Gonna cut my defense, but uh, I'm gonna make a short work of... Yeah. With a headbutt. Oh, it didn't do half de It didn't do half health. Okay, another headbutt. Please flinch. Please flinch, and I got the shout bell kicking in. Oh no, Ember. Ple okay, that's not a critical hit, so wouldn't be worried too much there. Yeah, that Growlithe, that Growlithe packs quite a punch. All right, so we defeated Policeman Keith. Alright, so I believe we are almost there to Goldenrod City, am I right? Am I wrong? Oh, yes, we are! We're finally in Goldenrod City. So, I believe we have finished our objective today. In the next episode, we hope to take on the gym leader and... We'll call that a day, we'll call that a day after it's been made because... Heck, it might be a hard gym that might take a while or an entire episode to just finish them up. So... Yes, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.